Welcome to Josh's Recordings. This, air, this video is probably going to be based more toward my air conditioning audience. As you can see by the air conditioner sitting in front of you. Um, basically, what we're going to show demonstrate in this video is how tricky these units are coming on when it is too cold for them to work. Let me plug it in and I'll show you what I mean. Right now, there is no way the compressor is going to come on. It's not warm enough. So. See, just the fan. So, uh, yes, I do have a front cover and everything for this unit. It's just uh, for demonstrational purposes only right now. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove at least like one part of the cover to see if we can get out the control panel without removing the entire cover. And it looks like we can in this unit. So it looks like we need to remove this. So we're gonna remove one screw there. Now, what we're gonna do <clears throat> is we see we have, this is the thermostat right here. Um, and this is the main control switch. We see we have a, this wire here that jumps from the main control switch. This is the compressor switch, uh, part of the main control switch. We're gonna take this wire and we need to jump it. Uh, this wire is a jumper from to the thermostat. So to bypass, all we need to do is um, undo, untake this wire. <laughs> Sometimes they're a little bit stubborn after not being removed for how many years. There we go. Now we're just going to completely remove this wire. Now we're going to take the compressor wire. with as far as we can get it and we're gonna plug it in to that where that jumper wire was. Just like that. Now we can plug the unit back in and we can watch and see what happens. Right, put on the knob now. And ta-da! Now the unit is running. Pretty loud compressor too. But that's how it works. Now I'm going to put the tune back together and we will get another example. Here is subject number two. This is an EQK. Um, this is one I recharged over the hall. And I'll show you, thermostat won't kick on this one either. Just the fan. So we want to kick that compressor on. So we, first thing we're going to need to do in this particular unit, we have to move this front grill. Now in these EQKs, you can remove the control panel without taking the entire unit apart. Which is nice because I don't feel like taking this unit apart. <laughs> remove that screw. And then we're gonna see the insides of the control panel. The process is pretty much the same. What you're gonna wanna do is um, find the thermostat, which is this Okay, you see that? Yeah, we'll turn it a little bit. Take find the thermostat. That's this thing right here. Find the jumper wire that runs from the uh, sorry the compressor wire came out. This is the compressor wire here. that runs from the main thing, the main control switch, to the thermostat. Remove it. Then 
we're going to take the compressor wire and we're going to plug it in to that main uh, switch thing right there. And I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I can't show you this on video because, yeah, but just plug that right into that place that you removed the other wire from. And we are going to show you that this unit will now kick on. Let me plug it in. And I'll demonstrate that to you right now. Be careful not to short anything out. And ta-da! Also remember to turn your fan to the fan on position because uh, the fan on position will not work in your, on, the, on, on the units during when you run it like this. And to undo, just reverse the process. And that is how you bypass these units so you can run them no matter what season. Of course, just remember to undo it before you put them in the wall or the window. Thank you for watching. This has been Josh's recordings. So one thing I thought I'd mention before we go off is um, don't run for too long because the coil will start to freeze up. So, just thought I'd mention that too. <coughs> now, I know you might be thinking, well, that's all nice for EQKs and large Kenmores, but that's only two units. Yes, it is. Um, but the process is basically the same for all other units. Uh, the EQK and the Kenmore are just a model example. The EQK is a little bit more complicated because it has the energy saver fan switch, but not really that much more. I mean, all you have to do is find the wire that runs into the thermostat and uh, the wire that runs out of the thermostat and put the wire that runs out of the thermostat to where the wire that runs into the thermostat used to be. And that's all you have to do to bypass these units. It's incredibly simple um, on these mechanical units. Um, now you could use a heat source warm up the thermostat too, but that doesn't really work, especially if you're doing what I did. I bypassed this unit because it wasn't warm enough to recharge it to keep the thermostat on steady. It was only like 50, 55 degrees out when I recharged this unit, so you need to keep a steady temperature on it. And so, yep, that's uh, what, what we did there. Um, with that Kenmore, just simple to buy, bypass. A digital unit. If you find a digital unit, and I know they're incredibly rare, but I found one, so that doesn't mean that, every, well, that means that most people could find one if they wanted to. All you have to do is put your hand around the uh, the uh, the temperature sensor, which is the little black thing that you put in front of the coils, and hold that, and uh, the unit will kick on because you're warming up the little temperature sensor. The, the, thing, the reason you can't do that on these is because um, the entire the entire unit um, needs to. Uh, or sorry, the entire thermostat is, is, is part of the temperature sensor. So, yep, that's how you do it on these old uh, air conditioners. Um, this has been Josh's Recordings. Have a wonderful day. This is the end of yeah. my show. Can't